So welcome everyone. Welcome to our kickoff for um, the moderator professional development for week course. It is a course uh, for Evo 23. Uh, we uh, lost a very close colleague of since, uh, I don't know, for the past 20 years, I guess, um, at Evo. It's uh, a great loss to all of us. And uh, what we're going to do is just uh, for one minute, we're going to um, have a minute of silence in memory of Vance Stevens. Right, so um, we're going to get started. You can turn, open your webcams. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us um, on our kickoff. So um, we're going to get started. I'll start screen sharing to uh, get us started. All right, so um, we'll start off with a little bit about uh, the coordination team. Uh, these are the uh, team members of um, the coordination team for EVO 23, including the assistant coordinators. I am currently the, uh, the lead coordinator, the head lead is Sanya who is with us there just underneath my webcam is the uh, EVO lead coordinator. If you'd like to know about the differences, um, we'll share the uh, wiki page with you. And um, Christine. Christine is, is with us. Is she with survived, us, great. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll make her uh, co-host is uh, both the, uh, one of the founders of EVO which was founded, I guess, uh, 22 years ago. Time flies. It was just 20 years anniversary, um, just two years ago, I guess. And she's uh, also our incoming lead coordinator for EVO 23. Uh, anyone want to say anything before I make Christine? Let me just make Christine the... Um, Sonia, do you want to say anything as we go through? The coordination uh, team you want to go through the names and i'll just make thank you nelly uh, i would like uh, just like to say hello to welcome everyone to eo 2023 uh, after this uh, minute of silence for vance you will see vance's photo he's one of us one of the founders of eva and you will see 
the rest of the team. And I uh, think uh, Natasha is with us in uh, the audience now, Nelly, too. Natasha is one of the past uh, lead coordinators, Barak too, but I haven't seen Barak uh, in the session today. Our new coordinators, Vicky, Mike, and Sushadana. Uh, Sushadana is traveling, so she will join us uh, later, I think. And Mike and Vicky are here. Mushtaq too. We've seen Sue. Hello, Sue and Nagla. Uh, Lavisa. Jane, Cheryl, Peter, and Doris. So that's us, your coordination team for this year's course. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, this year, we've got uh, 17 sessions, two new ones, and returning, 15 returning sessions. Uh, this PowerPoint presentation is available in the, uh, in Canvas um, for week one, as well as for the pre-week. Uh, which came just before you'll be able to click on any of these and get to the evo proposal right now they're all proposals but hopefully the returning will become uh, full-fledged uh, proposed not just proposals but sessions and the two will also be listed as sessions for EVO 2023. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, just get to know one another. So what I'm going to do, generally we do this at the end, but I'm going to allow everyone to uh, unmute themselves one at a time, not all together, and also open their cameras if they wish so that we can see everyone uh, and um, see who's here. And those that are not here, this is being recorded and it's also streamed on YouTube. So if you don't want your photo on YouTube or anything like that, you can just unmute yourself and speak as we go or uh, turn off your camera. However, uh, since our YouTube channel is not that popular, we only have about 400 subscribers and we encourage you to subscribe. I'm sure no one's gonna find this video, so there shouldn't be a problem. All right, so uh, let's get started. Who wants to go first uh, among the, uh, anyone, the attendees? Just feel free to grab the mic. And, good morning. Uh, good morning. My name is Suleika Zapatero and I am from Panama. I am member of Panama Tissot. Thank you. Wonderful to have you with us. All right, just grab good the morning. mic. And, yes, good morning. I'm Gracia from Honduras. Uh, I am the founder of the English Teacher Association in Honduras. I have been involved with TESOL in different capacities since 2007. I have been a participant in EVO, several courses. This is the first time that I'm going to be actually moderating a course, and I'm very excited about this. Great. Welcome. <laughs> Don't be shy, just grab Hello. the mic. Yes. Hello, I'm Kalyaning from India. I teach in a university and I'm associated with many teacher organizations in India. And it's lovely to be part of this family, this coordinating team. Thank you. Thank you, Kalyani. Good morning or good afternoon and good evening. This is Christine Bawa Ramazani. Um, I was uh, muted earlier, so I would like to welcome everybody here. Uh, it's great to have uh, 17 proposals, and it's wonderful to get to know all of you. And um, um, I just wanted to, to say uh, that we're honored to have among our participants Bobby Stevens, um, Vance's wife, and we miss him. Hello, I'd like to go after Christine for the same reason. I joined a little later and, uh, um, well, I'm just, you know, still thinking. My name is, by the way, Natasha Bosic Groic. I was uh, uh, one, I, I'm um, an outgoing lead uh, or an ex lead. Um, and I've been um, a member of this group for ages. Uh, I just want to tell you that I, I miss Vance every day. And uh, so, I'm with you there. Anyway, um, that's all I, I wanted to say. 
So I'll mute myself now and Don't give the mute. mic to others. Yeah. Yes, for now, but it's lovely to have you with us. Natasha. Yes, uh, yes, I just want to, yeah, because I was absent for a couple of months myself. Uh, I took, uh, because I think a lot of, uh, um, uh, a lot of our new, um, our new members of the coordination team also don't know me. Uh, I took compassion leave uh, because I had death in my family and uh, it took me a little bit of time to, uh, to pull myself together. So uh, these lovely ladies told me to take some time off and come back when I'm ready. Well, I hope I'm ready. So here I am with you. Mm -hmm. I will be leading week two with Sanya and uh, Sue and um, everybody else. So we'll be seeing each other. Thank you, Sanya, so much. Yes. Great to have you back. <laughs> Thank you, Nelly. Yes. A good introduction, uh, Natasha. I'm glad you mentioned uh, the moderation uh, of the weeks. And I might as well say that um, I will be co-moderating week one with uh, Larissa Olesova and uh, Vicky Margari, as well as uh, Mushtaq uh, Wujawar from India. I'm also there in week one. And That's I'll be joining it. Nelly. In Hi, everybody. Four. My name is, yes, I'm D Doris Molero from Venezuela originally. And I am just thrilled to get to know all of you. And I miss Mans a lot, too. Hugs, Bobby. <laughs> Besitos. <laughs> this is what I say all the time. So now you know me. <laughs> mm. We're going to need to have a special day. We will have a special day uh, for Vans um, where we can um, hug one another, uh, uh, Doris. Nelly, that is an excellent idea. I'm sorry to uh, butt in, but uh, as I said in uh, elsewhere, I think um, in our group, it's very, very hard to, to grieve uh, for an online friend. I've already lost an online friend before, and uh, you know, it's uh, the grieving process is different. So we need to figure this out together. And Thank I you. think we need to. Thank yeah. you, Natasha. You are definitely spot on. Yes, mm. we'll do mm. this. We'll do this. We'll get together uh, with Bobby and everyone else who wants to join us for an online, uh, for a special. Uh, thank you, appreciation of uh, Vance. All right, so um, anyone else want to um, share who they are, uh, where they're from? Hello. Yes, hi. Hello, Nelly oh. Pam. Hi. It's, it's Suchita Mahurkar. Uh, I'm from India, and it's my third year with you all. And EVO is a wonderful platform. I always love to be with you, and I could experiment. So that's why I'm continuing uh, staying over here. It's great to see each other working uh, on, in the educational field and sharing the thoughts. So it's a great, great platform. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Nelly Man, and thank you, Ivya Platform. Thank you, Sushita. I like the word experiment. Vance used that word a lot. It's a chance to, that's what we do. We're here to experiment and try things out in a safe environment so that we can help our students and help others help their students. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So, Miguel Carranza from El Salvador. I'm a professor at the university and uh, I'm part of the Latin American group. And I'm happy and um, honored to be here. And I, I look forward to learning a lot from you all. Hi, Miguel. OK, hello, everyone. I'm Mushtaq Hussain from Hyderabad, India. Uh, so I really miss uh, the positive and energetic vibes of once. Uh, but uh, we, our prayers and wishes are with him. Uh, so uh, I have been associated with Evo for a couple of years. I was uh, a participant for a couple of years. Then I moderated uh, two courses. Uh, uh, then, uh, yeah, so recently I joined coordination team. Unfortunately, I was not, uh, I have been not that much active, but I'll try my devil best to be more active. And uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mushtaq. Good to have you with us today. Hello, everyone. This is Shilpi Jain. I'm from India as well. 
and I've uh, heard so much from Suchita and I was really wanting to experiment myself about e-moderating and I've read about you Dr. Nelly online a lot so exploring the canvas is one of my main objectives here thank you Glad you joined us. I know how active you were in all the EVO sessions. We call them sessions, not courses. Uh, how active you were, Shilpi, and we learned a lot from you as well. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Priya from Malaysia. So I am with uh, university here, Health University, and I'm teaching teacher educators. So uh, I've been following Dr. Nelly's work for quite some time, but then I decided this, I need to come forward and join this wonderful team of community of practice. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to learn uh, from you all. Thank you for um, uh, being in with you. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you for joining us. I think that it's, it's really comforting, it really makes me my heart. Uh, you know, melt to think that all of us are volunteers. We're all volunteers trying to improve um, learning for our students. And this is what Evo is about. It's about connecting and helping everyone. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining us wherever you're coming from. Thank you, Priya. Thank you. I also like to mention that um, what Priya said is really true. We are a community of practice and have been for a long time. So you mentioned uh, 20, it's 21 years that we actually uh, have been operating. Um, it was, EVO was founded in 2000, but we started the first session in 2001. And it's a privilege to continue and have continued this for 21 years now in the field of education and especially in online education. And it's really, really important. So I am very pleased to have so many moderators here because our, as I've said before, our moderator professional development is something pretty unique in the field in that we're doing this, uh, training all of the moderators as uh, a group of, the coordination team is a group of volunteers and it's time very time consuming, but very rewarding um, as a community of practice. So thank you for mentioning that Priya. Thank you for saying that it's true. It is time consuming, but very rewarding. So anyone who wants to and has moderated, you're invited to also join the uh, coordination team next year in 2024. Anyone else that we missed wants to uh, grab the mic? Yeah. Hello. Can everyone. I go next? Okay. Okay, you can go. Okay, hello. I am Jyoti from India, and this is my first uh, introduction to Evo. Uh, and I'm a faculty here at the Indian Institute of Education, Pune. I'm looking forward to this session of this particular program. Thank you. Uh, Jyoti. Thank you, Jyoti. Uh, we've known each other for years. <laughs> I don't know if you realize it, but I know that on Wiki Educators, so it's so wonderful to, to see volunteers from, I guess, uh, 13, 14, 15, 15 years ago, um, join us here at EVO. So, Joycey, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Millie. Hello, everyone. I am from Trujillo, Peru. My name is Olenka Vicencio. I am very happy to be part of this wonderful group. I have been participating in EVO for many time as a student, but it's the first time for me to participate as a moderator. I am part of Latin American group. I'm very happy to be part of the TISO call. I learned a lot about you, and this is the reason that we stay here because we love technology and the opportunity that we have to share our experiences and learn from each other around the world. So thank you very much. Glad you joined us this year at EVO, Olenka. Olenka and I are also on the Call IS uh, committee. So um, it's, it's, it's wonderful to have, um, you know, these interactions with you in different venues, different areas. Great. Antonios, do you want to go next? Okay, yes. 
thank you. Um, I'm Antonio Venturis. I come from Greece. I'm teaching in the University of uh, Aristotle of uh, Thessaloniki. Um, I'm teaching um, educational uh, assessment. Um, I'm really happy to be part of this uh, lovely group. Uh, I hope I will manage to contribute uh, to, to everything. I had the experience the last year of collaborating with uh, Evo. It was a, a positive one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sidon, you had your hand up for some time. Do you want to go ahead? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, hello, everyone. Um, it's my honor uh, to be a part of this uh, community of practice. And uh, please uh, accept my deep condolences for loss uh, of uh, Van Stevens. Uh, I, I can feel it in my heart. Um, and he'll be in our hearts um, as long as we live. Uh, we are truly thankful to him. Um, I am Sedan Eral Demir uh, I have been working as an educator for almost 30 years now. Currently, I'm working at Chai University. Um, and what else? Uh, I'll be the lead moderator this year uh, for um, mentoring teacher research uh, sessions. Uh, with my colleagues, uh, Anna Maria Stone, uh, Ruben Masai, uh, Ma Mariana Serra, and Richard Smith. Actually, I have uh, co-hosted uh, teacher research mentoring sessions with uh, Professor Smith uh, in 2020 and 2022. Uh, but this year, we are practicing something different. Uh, and as a team, we'll do our best uh, to, 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 to guide mentors uh, or some, uh, you know, who are interested in mentoring, in, in guiding teacher research. Thank I'm sure you. you'll do great. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support and just smiling face. I, I love the energy of this team and I truly uh, envy just this is some volunteer work and it's so precious for the whole world. True. Nagla, uh, anyone yeah. else? Yes, yes. Me. yes. Yeah. Myself. Peter. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter Omar from Jamaica. I've been a member of Ava for a good while now like two to three years. Um, I'll try to touch the topic of loss. You know, we grieve differently. Uh, Sometimes people take grieving as a personal issue. I know I lost um, my wife some time ago, last year, and how to overcome that. Sometimes it takes you in a dark corner. You find that you are withdrawn. You find that everything not working. And then to top it up, again, we have lost our dear members, Vince. Um, it's so painful. Um, to grieve, people grieve differently. Um, to me, sometimes it takes me into isolation, withdrawal, and it's really, really painful. Anyway, that's from me, from Jamaica here. More greetings, and I still invite all of you to come to Jamaica. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I will take that yeah. as an invitation, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. very soon. Yeah. Thank yes. you for being with us. Yes, yes. So Thanks next for we your have... advice. Mm. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Peter. Um, we have, I hope I'm pronouncing it Tomaeus. Tomaeus, yeah? Okay, go ahead, Tomaeus. Yes, perfect. <laughs> um, good afternoon. Hi to everyone. And uh, my name is Tomaeus. Uh, I come from Thessaloniki, Greece. You know, 
we heard about this. It is the second year that I am in Evo. Uh, last year I had my first experience, but I have not been trained uh, about this. I haven't uh, attended this course, this training course. I'm really glad that I have the chance to participate here. And I work for uh, Aristotle University of Thessaloniki and uh, for a research center, uh, the Center for the Greek Language. Uh, I'm really glad to see you all here today. Thank you. Next, we have you, Seva, and then Mary Allegra. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Yuseva Iswandari, and I'm from Indonesia, and I am with the Trans Languaging Group. Um, I knew Evo for the first time, actually, from Grace Kim, um, the lead, uh, our lead uh, moderator in this group. Um, and I'm currently a PhD candidate uh, in multilingual language education at the Ohio State University. And this is my first time becoming the moderator and I'm very excited to be part of this program. Thank you. Okay, hello, good morning. My name is Mary Allegra. I am from Venezuela and um, I am a former member of the steering committee of TESOL Coal IS. And um, for me, it is an honor to represent Latin America here. And also, I mean, to be in this prestigious group, I mean, it's not easy to be part of the, of the EVO, the very famous EVO. And I'm honored um, to be here. Uh, thank you for the, for the opportunity. And I hope to learn so much for each one of you. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, Mary, to see you once again. I enjoyed our conversations in the past, so I'm glad you joined us as well. Besito, Mary. <laughs> yeah, last time I saw you was uh, before coming to Argentina, so that was almost yeah. seven years ago, <laughs> and it was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And next we have Georgia Manetta. Hello everyone, I hope you can hear me. Um, my name is Georgia. I have been an EFL educator for over 20 years. Um, this is my second time in EVO. Last year I was like a student, this year I will be like a moderator. Um, in Greece we have a saying, um, the Greek ones will understand me, sacred masters. So I'm really, really intimidated by all of you in EVO, but I'm trying I will try to do my best. And thank you, Dr. Nelly, for always replying to my questions and my difficulties in doing things. Nice uh, to meet you all and can't wait to start working with you. Georgia, we're gonna learn a lot from you. I know it. So uh, you're the sacred one too. <laughs> thank you. And we have Nevis next and then Maria. Hello everyone, my name is Nevis. I'm from Australia originally. I teach English in uh, Italy at high school level and I've been with TESOL Evo since 2014 and then moderating and presenting since 2015 in teaching EFL to young learners. I've learned a lot from Dr Nelly um, and also Tom Hodges who was um, on, on the team initially and we we also miss him he's someone we've lost in the past and um, I'd like to say that Vance was a wonderful person and also someone that we learned a lot from and is going to be sorely missed and so um, but I'm sure that today he's looking at us from up there and enjoying this session just as much as we all are and um, I work um, at the moment I work on projects online with Cheryl McCoy, who's uh, my right-hand man. And uh, both of us can say thank you to Dr. Nelly for showing us a whole new world that didn't we did that I didn't know about especially. So I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. Great to, to have you, Nevis. Always learning from you. Thank you. I think Maria is next. Maria, yes. just unmute yourself. Go ahead, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hello, everyone. This is Maria Fluraki. I'm from Greece, and I'm really happy to be part of EVO once again. I've been a participant of EVO for the past few years, and this is the second time I'm going to co-moderate a session. 
I'm looking forward to learning more things with you and I'm really happy to be in the group. It's been a great source of knowledge and interaction and support uh, for me and I'm really inspired. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Maria. We're inspired by you as well. So we learn as much from you, I guess, as you learn from us. <laughs> All right, Cheryl will go next and then Barbara. All right, thank you. Um, yes, I was just thinking about, well, I've been thinking about Vans for several weeks now, but I, I was thinking about going back, 2004 was the first time I got, I was teaching in a school, um, and I got this postcard, and the postcard said something about join our uh, teaching office and it was all about uh, helping people and working together and it wasn't EVO yet it was still the other thing that was um, PR web no. heads in action web, no web heads well, before action before action. It, uh -huh. yeah so it wasn't web heads was part of this office it was an online office and I'm sorry I can't remember the name anymore, it was by but, Jeff Cooper I yes. just met him the other day Oh, did trying you? to bring it back. I don't remember what it was oh. called either, but it was yes. an environment. It was a school, a huge land, uh, browse based, and we met every digital. Sunday. Yeah, it was close to the as close as you could get to a second life at that time. But anyway, it was I, a chat place, right? Yes. Excuse me. Yes. It was a chat place. It was uh, this. Uh, I don't Were remember we, the name either, but it was we had offices. We had offices. Tapped in. Yes, that's the one. Tapped in. That's right. That's the one. Tapped in. That's the one. Yes. Tapped tapped in. in. And uh, yes, so anyway, that's when I first started meeting all these people. And I at, on Sundays, I kept seeing this thing called Webheads. And I was like, what the heck is this? And so I didn't get to get into it as much as I would have liked to, but I could, I could uh, lurk periodically. And so that's how I first met, started meeting everyone. And and then uh, the re main reason I wanted to get on right now is the fact that we're all teachers. We all love what we're doing. We all want to help each other and we work really hard. But I, when I first became uh, interested in, well, I've been interested in Moodle since about 2000, but when I figured out that Nellie was doing these classes and it was about 2013, which wasn't a good year, but it turned out it was a good year to meet everyone. Um, she had that Moodle course and I got started and I was like, oh my gosh, this is just so great. I knew just enough to make myself a real problem. But anyway, my everybody knows my daughter became very ill and almost died. But anywho, after that, I took a year or two off and but I started getting back in, back in. And then when I became, um, I started to become a uh, coordinator. Um, this is why I really wanted to mention this. Dr. Nellie has always been like, I could get hold of her anytime I want. And sometime if it's not, it, I don't know how she does it. I just don't know. She must have 48 hour days. I don't know how, but, and then I met Nevis and uh, we started working together. And then I came on to be a coordinator. And that's what I wanted to tell you that Natasha is, was one of my mentors. And I don't know if, if she remembers any of this, but I I really oh, remember. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes I do. <laughs> I really remember one time we were supposed to meet and you were in the mountains or something, you know, and yes. you had your phone and you were standing outside to get service. And I'm like, we've come a long way. Everybody has, you know, it, I, I remember those days where you couldn't get service and you didn't do this and that. So mm. I just thought, you know, if we're going to say goodbye, we need to say hello. You know, yes. I, I'm not trying to copy the Beatles, but you know, there we go. So <laughs> I just wanted to tell Natasha, I really appreciated that help that she gave me that year. And, and then I, I'll, everyone, I just, everybody, there's something, some little thing about each one of you that I know and, and, and really love. So thank you. And I can't wait for this year. I did, yeah, come if, from, I did go sorry, to it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I just want to say it, isn't, uh, it wasn't very clear who was mentoring whom because oh. you had so much experience and <laughs> you were so supportive of me. You know, you said, uh -huh. are you going fishing? Are you going mountaineering? What are you doing? So it was lovely, really. 
I well, remember that's that what one. I wanted. I wanted to know. That's what I love about this. I want to know what you all are doing, mm. really, in your world. You know, it's just what makes my little flat plane of the prairie here a little more interesting. You know, because mm-hmm. I don't get to go to cities. I don't get to go into the mountains. It's just like, here you are. But um, I want to thank everyone so much. So I'm going to stop at that and let it go. <laughs> go to Barbara or whoever's next. Mm. Yes, that was lovely, Cheryl. Thank you. Yes, Barbara, please go ahead. Okay. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Uh, so I'm... Uh, Bobby Stevens. I'm Vance's wife. And first of all, I want to thank all of you for um, your condolences and your expressions of how much Vance meant to you. But I want you to know that all of you meant so much to Vance. And I know that because all these 20, 21 years or 20 years, I've been patiently in the background, usually in the same room with Vance, um, watching, listening, lurking. And I know all of you probably more than you know me because I was, I'm was i the quiet one. I was the quiet one in the family. So basically I'm not here to take Vance's place because no one can, uh, but I have been working in tandem for a few years with uh, Vance in the EBO Minecraft MOOC. And, um, you know, I think for his honor, you know, I want to continue uh, working in that. And what you are are doing, this is what Vance would want to see happen. He would like to see people carry on and to see the program grow. And again, you know, I just want to thank you all very much. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you for um, joining us today and thank you for being there. I know you're always there in the background. You're also my Facebook friend and I'll never really. So I know and and Vance could only talk about you. He loved you so much and he he always talked about you. He always carries you with him wherever in whatever conference or whatever online and face to face. You were always there and I could feel you there. So um, I think that you're right. Vance would want us to go on and and learn together. I think that was what he called it. And this is Sunday. Yeah. And um, I wish somebody would pick that up. Maybe we'll talk about this later on sometime. So that learning together could continue with different people uh, on the oh. wiki. I know I'm there. And we could continue mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. Vance has been doing for so long. I don't know what episode it is, but to continue the episodes in mm-hmm. some way. I know that he wanted us to keep it up, and um, I will need help oh, doing that. Oh, I will that. be there. I so, will, I thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. As I said, I, I can't take his place. I can't do what he was doing, but um, I will try my best. And I think with, with your help, we will make him proud. So thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you thank for joining you. us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Next we have Yitze. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Yitze. I'm a PhD candidate at The Ohio State University. Very honored to join this lovely group. This year, I'm going to deliver sessions with Yuseva and my other three colleagues about translanguaging in TESOL. I'm currently doing my dissertation in China and it's 9 p.m. now. Glad to see you all. Thank you. Thank you, Nietzsche. Thank you. Nice to have you with us. Welcome. All right. Anyone else? Nagla, you're keeping the chat. No, in. I don't see any hands up. Any- all right. Oh, if anyone feels no. like yeah. they want I to could, with I some could point. mention something else here, Nelly. Oh, there's Jane. Uh, since, oh, Jane's here. Since, uh, Ichi just spoke about translanguaging. It's one of the new sessions that we have uh, this this time, or one of the new proposals that we have. And um, each of the two new proposals will have mentors. And Ichi, uh, I will be mentoring, co-mentoring mm-hmm. yours along with Nagla. 
and Mushtaq. So you will get to know us a little bit better later. Okay, right. thank you. Glad to There's see you. Jane. Jane is also a coordinator. Hi, Jane. Hi, hi everyone. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Um, I just got off the highway uh, after a six hour drive. And um, <laughs> so uh, um, I got online uh, the minute I got off the high highway. Um, um, thanks, Bar Bar Bobby, for being here. Um, we all miss Vance very much. It wouldn't be the same without Vance um, for our Minecraft MOOC and uh, for Evo as well. Um, but yeah, well, um, uh, it's gonna be hard um, to host the, our, our Minecraft MOOC without him. And, but um, we, will, we will do it together and um, yeah, and in his honor and, and um, yeah, we've, uh, before, it, it was like in September or it, in, in August, we were still talking about putting together a Minecraft for ELT book uh, for our evil session and um, he promised well, he, he agreed to be the co-editor of the book and and he said he'd loved um, he enjoyed reading it and the manuscripts and and I, I I'm not sure if if we could uh, you know do do this book without him but I think we should because um, because this is this was, would be a good tribute to like um, his legacy um, of leading um, our group for so long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank, thank you, Bobby, for being here. And um, it's great to see everyone. Um, uh, we're starting our moderator session. Thank you all for, for being here um, and for providing uh, a session a free professional development session for five weeks for, for um, our global TESOL educators. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. After a six hour drive, you look great. <laughs> All right, so is that it, Nagla? Can we continue then? Yeah, it looks like that's it. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you everyone for introducing yourself. Uh, these are the lovely logos. I, I just think that, uh, you know, everybody's doing such an amazing job with their logos. If you haven't, for the two new sessions, um, you might get some ideas. I don't know if people are using Canva or something else. I use Canva and you're welcome to join us in the Canva and uh, we can help you with the logos. So these are the 15 recurring sessions and they've been going on for a number of years. I'm not sure which is the oldest. I think it may be Moodle for Teachers, which started in 2012. Wow, so it's going to be uh, 11 years for uh, Moodle for Teachers. I think Minecraft came after that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone? And all the rest. And flipped learning is also, um, it's been around for some time. All right, so the new sessions. And, um, you know, a warm welcome to you. Uh, you made it this far, which means that you need uh, to work on a few things. But uh, basically, um, you're here and we're looking forward to seeing you uh, improve and um, get your session up and running in January. You've got the mentors, as Christine mentioned, uh, mentors for the learner engagement through virtual apps. Um, is Larissa and Vicky. Anyone else? I'm not sure if this is the, uh, the final list. And for the trans languaging pedagogies in TESOL, you can see your mentors and Christine mentioned that as well. We're going to go through each of these. Uh, everyone has uh, speaking rights, so you can basically start. Uh, we'll start with the first one, whoever wants to talk about it. You have, um, I think, what is it? One minute to to do this. So, are you ready? Who's doing it? So you I think I am. Up. All right. So, uh, uh, got yes. everything ready there. I've right. got everything ready. Okay. okay. So here goes. 
<laughs> yeah, we call ourselves the DBP team, delivering best practices in distance and blended courses. And we're pleased to propose uh, a second iteration of our session. Um, I'm Christine Bawa Ramazani, and I'm the lead moderator in the session. I'm proud to introduce the other members of my team, Christine Sabie, Larissa Olisova, Sue Annan, Jack Watson, and Nagla Salem. We have already started working in Google Docs, and I would recommend that to everybody else um, on incorporating suggestions from the coordinators and the feedback that we got uh, from last year's participants um, to make some adjustments for our proposal. And our participants will design a course module with a lesson uh, in Canvas with interactive and collaborative tools uh, for their own teaching context. And it could be either blended or online or distance. They will learn about copyright guidelines and quality standards. Best practices will always be modeled and discussed and feedback will be given on the course module and the lesson. Uh, we will be using weekly rubrics to do that and give moderators feedback on their creations. The goal is to have participants showcase their work in week five and for completion of the task, participants will receive a certificate. You did it. All right, it's two minutes, so it's not so bad. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one is developing learning habits and the lead moderator is Sushita who's here with us. So Sushita, would you like to talk about developing learning habits and the session? Okay, welcome everybody. So this, this would be the second year of uh, this session. This lovely session is basically uh, guided and, uh, uh, and uh, well uh, structured by Dr. Nelly Deutsch. The basic idea was mine, but the main contributions were from Nelly, ma'am. So uh, this is my team. <clears throat> we are five this year, and uh, mm, uh, we would like to deliver our sessions. Uh, in this session, we would be uh, particularly talking about the personal competencies and how we can uh, develop the behavior of the student. And uh, the uh, session would be for the teachers this year. And hopefully uh, we can uh, take it forward next year with the learners. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I didn't have to put the, uh, the timer up. You did it in less time. All right. Next one is Eva Minecraft. So Jane, uh, you could talk about that. Or anyone else, Bobby or Aaron. I don't think Aaron is here, but maybe Bobby can also help out. Um Sorry, uh, sorry, can I do this a little bit uh, later? Like, uh, sure, it, sure, sure. Like, yeah, thank you. Of course. All right, uh, flipped learning and language teaching in 2023. Uh, is anyone here? Mike, Mike, you're yeah, I can, here. I can, I can uh, hi, Mike. Into you it. can also introduce yourself now that you've got the mic. Okay, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Contreras. I'm from uh, Lesbos Island here in Greece. Um, I've been a uh, co-moderator of the Flip Learning and Language Teaching um, for the last three years now. Uh, the lead moderator is D Diana Salazar um, and uh, also Gab uh, Gabriela Garibotto uh, are moderating the Flip Learning for Language Teaching. It's for new uh, uh, to Flip Learning teachers and for old flippers where we uh, talk about the various um, approaches to um, flip learning to active learning environments and how we plan and use technology and how we um, can take out whatever we can in the classroom or use techniques like in-class flip it's for new and uh, uh, to flip learning so, sorry. No. sorry that was me sorry about uh, that okay yeah sure and um it's always a challenge. It's always uh, interesting because as you're moderating, you're always learning new things and you're always um, picking up new ways of uh, using um, techniques and approaches in your classroom. So it's a pleasure being here and thank you. All right, thank you, Mike. There is no faith 
and no courage and no sacrifice in doing what is expected. All right, let's go on to the next one. What do you say to those viewers? And uh, maybe we can hear some yeah, recording. Yeah, let me get rid of that. Okay. Um, I was trying to uh, see if I can hear the YouTube channel. Mm. And while I was doing that, I uh, added sound here. So I don't know if I can get rid of that. Yeah, let me get rid of it. Okay. Okay, right. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Thank you, Mike. Uh, grammar for Tiso, Nagla, um, yes. and Wata, they're both here. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Nagla Selim, speaking to you from Toronto, Canada. Um, this is the fourth year we're proposing and offering Grammar for TESOL, or G4T for, for short. Um, my co moderator is Masahito Watanabe from Japan who is a grammar expert and has translated several well-known grammar books from English to Japanese. Um, in our session, we invite participants to reflect on their grammar instructional practices and what um, theoretical considerations inform these practices. And then um, halfway through, after establishing some important pedagogical knowledge, participants get to apply this knowledge on some hands-on activities and tasks related to lesson planning, um, uh, creating grammar focused uh, activities as well as error correction and uh, a f a provision of feedback. We plan to continue to use interactive content and integrate a variety of online tools to hopefully create an engaging um, CBD experience. Um, so Participants are encouraged to complete, uh, as I said, several tasks, and then one of them is identified as a required task, after which they hopefully will get weekly uh, a weekly badge, and then collecting the badges, they uh, eventually get a, a certificate of completion of participation. Um, our session is always improving, and for this year, EVO 2023, Wata and I are already working on our course uh, on Canvas course site, uh, integrating more tools and updating several of our resources. Uh, we're quite excited to start the Mod PD with all the opportunities for um, improving, developing, and, and um, as Nelly mentioned in Vance's word, experimenting uh, that go along with that professional uh, development experience. Thank you very much. Oh, I wanted to hear the bell. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nagla. <laughs> you did it. All right. Immersive learning experiences in the metaverse. Um, I, don't, I don't think Heike is here. But Doris and uh, Georgia, and I don't know anyone else here. I'm I don't here, know. But if Doris wants right. to talk about it, great. That would be more than glad. Yeah, welcome, um, Georgia. <laughs> nice I'm to sorry. have you here. <laughs> Georgia is, is joining us this year. We have been doing this for quite a long. This started back in 2006, I guess, with Evo Village. Uh, we had been in virtual worlds for a long time. So uh, this uh, session for this year is an evolution of what we have been doing all these years. Now with the hype of the metaverse, thanks to this uh, Mark Zuckerberg, you know, with his idea of the metaverse, he just discovered this year. So <laughs> we are uh, experimenting new, uh, using new worlds and some of them are going to be uh, using virtual reality. Uh, Georgia, I think that something that you know uh, a little bit better because Georgia is in, um, are you in out space VR, right? isn't it? No, I mean Frame VR. Actually, we have oh yes, Frame VR. Yeah, yes, we have different moderators, and they are going to help um, attendants build um, learning activities in virtual reality worlds. And uh, we were talking about Frame VR, uh, of which I'm responsible, let's say. And also, we will learn about Engage XR and Mozilla Hubs and uh, Spoke and uh, OpenSIM, Second Life, etc. Um, as Doris said, it is an ongoing on uh, uh, session, and uh, Heike this year suggested that we um, stop calling it virtual worlds, uh, virtual worlds and virtual reality, and moving towards uh, the way that the Mark showed us the metaverse. So. <laughs> Doris, thank yes. you for helping me out. Yes, something that uh, uh, this experience is going to be about is building in virtual worlds. And the things that we're going to be building are experiences that uh, where we can use 
Oh my. Sorry. <laughs> it's a veil. That's okay. okay. I wanted to... <laughs> thank you, Doris. I wanted to see if it worked. So thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Go on. Go ahead. Uh, well, to finish, it's, what we're going to be doing is building uh, simulations and, and scenarios and games and things that you can do with your, I mean, language teachers can do with students and learn the language and have fun. That's the point. Have fun. That's right. Learning can be fun. Uh, next is language teacher agency in the classroom. So um, who do we have here? Anyone here? I don't know if I noticed. Yeah, I'm here. Um, hi, hi everyone. My name is Grace Kim. Um, I'm connecting from Pennsylvania, US, and it's really good to see everyone. Um, we are coming back once again. Um, last year was our first time. So Jen Jin Wang is the lead moderator, but she wasn't able to join today, unfortunately. So I guess I'm um, the one who will be sharing and I'll try my best um, to be able to um, capture the main idea and the goal of this session. Um, so our goal is to not only introduce the main um, conceptualization framework or this idea of language teacher agency to TESOL educators and teachers, um, but also by having the opportunity to develop an ecological perspective of language teacher agency um, to be able to invite the participating teachers and educators to be able to um, explore and also examine the interplay of various factors that are influencing their own teacher agency in their respective context. And this will be done by first exploring the current research that are conducted on language teacher agency, and then together through asynchronous and synchronous conversations, um, be able to examine the factors that influence their teaching in the past and also be able to identify the other internal and external factors in the current teaching context and um, be able to engage in conversation that aims to look forward um, in terms of identifying the potential factors um, in their future. And um, our goal is to be able to engage and invite our participating teachers to become more aware of those factors and how they can um, be more intentional in enacting their agency in their own teaching context as TESOL educators. Yeah, so it's wonderful to come back here and to see all of you once again this year. Sounds amazing. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Grace. Um, this is a new session, one of the new ones, Learner Engagement Through Virtual Apps. And uh, we've got, not everyone, but we've got quite a few here, if not, I think everyone except for Marty, Mauricio. So uh, the lead is Grazia. Yeah. So yeah, we are only missing Mauricio, and we have Mary and uh, Miguel and Oleka and Suleika here. And the intent of this uh, session is to how to promote engagement to virtual apps. And we have experienced through the pandemic and in our context how engagement was a little bit more difficult in the online setting that it that it would be in person. Although many of these apps that we're going to be sharing through this session uh, are can be used to promote engagement in the in-person classroom. And the intent is that the participants to this session understand why these apps are relevant, but that they also understand the advantages of this and disadvantages of using them depending on the context that, where they are. Things like connectivity and issues on uh, how to upload or download them into their devices, uh, and also how to incorporate this into the teaching practice. Uh, We're going to ask participants to evaluate them and how they can be adapted and be flexible to the context where they are working. And in the end, the product, the product that we want from this is an app portfolio where the teachers can have an array of apps that they can use, but that it can also be something that they want to share with their peers and their colleagues, because we don't want to leave it at the level of the people who participate, but we want to make sure that all those who participate can do that multiplier effect and at least share what they have learned with at least one colleague in their context. So that's in a nutshell what our session would be about. That's wonderful. Sounds really amazing. Next one is mentoring teacher research with a new um, lead moderator, but not new moderator <laughs> to the session. So Sedan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, it's our third time, as you said, and um, this time we are a big team uh, with 
uh, Anna Garcia Stone, Ruben Mazei, uh, Mariana Serra, and Professor Richard Smith. And uh, we, we, we mainly aim to develop a community of teacher research mentors and um, somehow provide guidance to enable mentors and prospective mentors uh, to support um, teachers during the teacher research uh, process. And um, uh, during our sessions, um, we, we aim to engage our participants um, in sharing ideas about the nature of mentoring and uh, what um, mentoring teacher research might um, um, need to involve or um, peer coaching um, to, to enable the participants, you know, to practice uh, and reflect on teacher uh, research mentoring skills. And we will also provide um, some planning tasks uh, to, to, um, to, con to help them consider who to mentor and, uh, you know, some, somehow establish uh, a timeline and plan for effective communications. Uh, we'll be um, we'll do our best with our team uh, to to support this um, mentoring process and uh, happy to be here uh, as the lead moderator. I know I see uh, uh, Sushita from the group, Manusha from our mentoring community, and Anna was here. Um, Okay, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You're right, there are a lot of people involved. A lot of people have taken this um, in India specifically and I guess other parts of the world. So thank you for that. Thank uh, you the so next, much. okay, let me tie myself. The next one is mindfulness awareness practice. Uh, this has been going on for I think three or four years um, and uh, we have a small group of moderators, Sanya, who's yes, here. Yes, I can say I can say a few words. Okay, great. If you want. And yeah. Ibrahim, <laughs> yes. yes, yes. I'll be joining Nelly uh, this year as her co-moderator. Uh, mindfulness awareness practices, Nelly's idea and Nelly's uh, session, and we have a new uh, moderator this year, Ahmed Ibrahim from Kenya. The outcome, uh, the outcomes from this for this session this year. Uh, for our participating teachers to uh, gain a better understanding of self-care and mindfulness in the atmosphere of collaboration and peer learning to, in week one, get acquainted with each other and with the layout of the session and start uh, our journal writing. In the second week, we explore research-based information mm -hmm. on mindfulness and create some interactive slides, record our voices, and we use uh, a diary activity in the second week as well. In the third week, week three, we explore and compare formal versus informal mindfulness practice. We work in teams, give each other a guided mindfulness practice. And then in week four, we try out various mindfulness awareness techniques. And finally, week five, it's uh, the week for showcasing, reflecting on our work in weeks one to four. Uh, we hope that a lot of you will join our session on mindfulness awareness practice because we all need it. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you so much. And what I always say is a mindful teacher uh, helps mindful students learn. Come on. So true. looking forward uh, to moderating with you, Sonia. The next one is Moodle for Teachers. I don't know if um, the moderating team are Zainab. Mm -hmm. I'll let Zainab speak. Zainab, if you could talk. Uh, Meina, Harshita, I don't know if she's here. I know Jati's here. Jati's new to the team. Harshita has presented in the past. Meina is also a new. Zainab has moderated also in the past. Kathleen Stuckey is a new. And we also have Priya, who's here with us, also a new moderator. So uh, Zainab, would you like to say a few words about Moodle for Teachers, um, teaching Moodle online? I don't know if she's still here. It's kind of late uh, where she's from. So I could talk about it. Uh, Zainab, feel free if you're still here to uh, 
also add anything you wish. All right, so let me get started. Uh, I took some time there. Uh, with Moodle for Teachers, this year is a little bit different from last year and the year, well, actually for the last, this is the uh, uh, 12th year and uh, it changes all the time. This year we're going to uh, allow teachers not only to work together in teams and create their Moodle courses, but teachers will be learning about Moodle, how to add activities and resources, how to add badges and a final certificate to their courses. But they're also going to actually create TESOL courses, courses for their students that they can use uh, on their own. Each teacher, each participant will be able to create their own course using a Moodle site. And they'll be able to use everything on that site. They can then uh, migrate it to Canvas or to another Moodle site. So I think that's uh, one of the main differences of Moodle for Teachers this year. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is teaching EFL to young learners. And everyone is here. I don't know if Judy's here, but Nevis and Cheryl are here. This is, um, I don't know, is it our eighth year? Did I count right? Uh, yes. <clears throat> eighth I believe year. It it's been eight years, Cheryl. All right. Mm -hmm. So actually each of us um, is in charge or leads a week. I lead the first and last week. And um, Judy leads the fourth week. Nevis leads the third week and uh, Cheryl leads the second week. So go ahead, ladies, who wants to start? Uh, is Judy here? I don't think so. No, okay. no I think it's not. just me. I think it's just me. You uh, and Nevis. Well, she had to go. Oh, sorry. So okay. We have context and flow of learning and teaching, basically. And this is a really fabulous class. The first week, Nellie goes through a lot of tries to pick out unique uh, technology that nobody's seen yet and uh, works with the, works with them. And then that gives us a, a balance. And uh, what we do is we try to keep this down to teaching young students. And um, one thing we wanna do is we want them to all be familiar with these ideas so they can go on and use them in their own classrooms. I, I'm reminded mine is more of a preparing for first day. How do we improve student learning? I want context. And what I mean by that is um, when we teach students who are from a different background, culture, whatever. I remember when I was teaching Vietnamese students, um, one thing that I latched onto that they had was that they had, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost it. I'm sorry. Uh, they would make origami and the origami was really fabulous. And so I grabbed that in and used it in my math classes. So Nevis works with games and bring those in. And then uh, Judy brings in um, her, her scheme of working with reading and picture books. And then Nellie pulls it all back together at the end of the, at the end of. <laughs> I hope that was clear. In any case, it's creating so, content. Sorry, I wasn't very clear. <laughs> That's okay. It's creating content for uh, teaching ESL to young learners, for young learners. All right. Uh, let, thank you, Cheryl. Uh, mm -hmm. Technology for spoken English. I believe Sudarshana and Sushita Ajita are here. I'm not sure about Sudhakar. So grab the mic and let's hear about technology for spoken English in its third year. Oh, uh, may I? If, yes, uh, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I think Sudarshana has to go. So. Uh, the, this, the, this is the third year of technology for spoken English and we are very much overwhelmed with the uh, participation the first year. Uh, this session is actually for the uh, spoken English to improve the spoken English. So we have uh, actually used very user-friendly online simple apps to help the learners engage in learning language, especially the English. So each uh, week we would be uh, um, catering the needs for like uh, vocabulary development or the shadow reading or the fluency or the accuracy. 
So each week, uh, week uh, is uh, specifically designed for the purpose. And uh, at the end of the session, uh, the certificates uh, will be available for the participants if they uh, engage themselves in every week's activity and uh, do the um, assignments. So thank you. And we are, uh, we are hoping that uh, this uh, session uh, will serve its purpose. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Sushita. I just want to mention that it's not only for students, for teachers to teach their students uh, on how to improve their spoken English, but it's also for teachers because there was a need <clears throat> in various countries for teachers who wanted to improve their spoken English. So this is both for teachers and for students. All right, we're going to go on to the next one. The next one, I have five, okay, in case. Uh, you're wondering, I lead five sessions. Last year I had seven, but I, I gave them over to the other moderators so they could lead. And this will probably happen with some of these sessions as well. So tools for student collaboration. Uh, the moderating team, Maria's here. Maria, maybe you'd like to speak about it. Manjusha is a new moderator this year. Nazma is also new. Samantrai is new. and Farhana is also new. Um, Ria has been moderating for, I think this is probably your second year, if I'm not mistaken, but you've taken the session yourself. So maybe you'd like to say a few words. Um, well, it's a very interesting session. Um, I, indeed, I, I was a participant originally, and I learned uh, to use uh, quite a, bit, uh, a lot of interesting apps and tools and uh, the session has been improving. And I think that a lot of teachers will find it useful. They can use these tools um, in flipped classroom, in uh, online teaching, in basically in every situation. Um, they can um, help their students uh, voice, uh, assignments, uh, create uh, videos, become more creative, more engaged in, in their learning. And I think it's going to be great help for uh, the teachers that will uh, take part to learn uh, how to engage their students using all these useful tools. Thank you, Maria. The idea, of course, is um, to get students to work in teams, for students to yeah. team up and collaborate using various tools. Thank you, Maria. We're going to uh, go on to Translanguaging Pedagogies in TESOL, which is also uh, a new uh, session, if I'm not mistaken, right? And Grace, who was talking for the lead before, is going to, I guess, uh, talk about this. Grace, thank you. Yes, so I'm here once more, um, and this year we proposed a new session on translanguaging pedagogies in TESOL, uh, and translanguaging pedagogies, especially within the field of TESOL, has gained wide interest. So um, along with my colleagues, we have Ija and Yuseva who are joining us um, for the first time this year, and it's really uh, wonderful to have both of my colleagues um, joining as uh, potential co-moderators um, of this proposed session. Um, so we have four specific more detailed goals, so to say. So first we aim to provide a overview of what translanguaging pedagogies are. And then secondly, to provide some concrete resources for the educators to be able to implement in their own context. Um, and we would like to provide a space for them to develop one activity or a lesson plan um, that they can actually use in their teaching context. And then lastly, um, to provide some feedback, not only from the moderators, but also um, among themselves doing some type of workshop. Um, so our goal is to, um, through all these experiences that they that the participating teachers and educators get the opportunity to familiarize themselves with the um, current research and the resources um, that are available to implement translanguaging pedagogies. 
um, which is the idea of using all the inviting the students um, and all the educators to use different linguistic and cultural repertoires that they have for learning new languages and in our case will be for English. Um, so we are really excited about this and um, we look forward to all the conversation that we'll have in the session. Sounds amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Grace. The next one, I think it's the last one, if I'm not mistaken, is video based mobile learning kind of reminds me of the other one on the app, but it's different. Let me start. It's different because uh, what participants learn is to use their phones, their smartphones to create videos. The idea behind this is content creation. Uh, we want uh, the purpose is to get students to create content, to create videos so that uh, they're able to share this with their peers and uh, we turn this into a peer learning environment where students are leading actually. And uh, that's what video-based mobile learning is about. Uh, I think it's 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 second year. Uh, Surashana is also co-moderating with me. She also she took it uh, video based mobile learning in its first year and now she's a moderator. And I think that's what's great about these mm -hmm. sessions that you might lead one year the next year. Um, whoever was co-moderating with you will become the lead. And that's how we learn from one another and take responsibilities for the sessions. Right, so now that we've gone through all the uh, 17, 15 recurring and two new uh, five week EVO or EVO sessions, um, let's get ready. Sorry, Nelly. Nelly. Yes, uh, I ahead. think Jane wanted to, um, oh, sorry, to tell us about this. That. Yeah. Thank you, Nagla. That's oh, right. Thank you. So we're gonna go back to, um, to the mindfulness to the sorry to or, or the, can uh, i share my screen if um i don't know if we have time if you can do it yes of course uh so there we are there is minecraft yes oh, I, I don't know if oh, you have I, rights I, let me give you rights um, okay thank you very quickly uh screen share you should be able to do it i'll stop mine but then thank i won't you. be able to uh um, start I'll, I'll time it some other way all right you just have to trust me Okay, so there, I'll, I'll use my phone. Okay, let me share my screen. But it's not going to make any sound, so it'll be quiet. Oh, I, I can, uh, okay. You can I can start. Too. All right, okay. so there you go. Okay, thank you. Um, um, Vance uh, asked uh, us if there's any uh, volunteer to take over the lead mod as the lead moderator, and I, I volunteered, so... Um, this year, uh, this coming year, um, we have planned for um, to to have or uh, the original like uh, Dave Cormier's um, successful five steps to successful MOOC and with Orient Declare Network cluster and focus, but. Um, in the first week, we'll meet uh, people, educators in Minecraft, and build a shelter and get get people familiar with the, the creative mode or the survival mode and talk about um, language teaching, language affordance. In the second week, um, we have Dark Knight, uh, who will be hosting a bingo event in Minecraft. And, um, and we will be discussing uh, about the language uh, interaction in, in throughout this event. Um, in the third week, we uh, Heike and Oliver will be introducing Mind Test. It's a free, um, it's similar to Minecraft, but it's free. And so they will be introducing this new Mind Test to uh, the participants. Um, in the fourth week, we have Rob from Sojo University, and he will be giving us a, a tour and um, sharing um, how we could set up like a Minecraft space for university students to for English learning purposes and network purposes. And um, in the final week, we will hopefully uh, gather around to um, share our teaching ideas in Minecraft and to get ready for the ELT research book chapter for uh, on Minecraft um, for ELT. Thank you, that's it. Thank you, you did it. You had... And I, you had the uh, 
the timer there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so I'll much. All right. Okay, so now we can go back to um, our next slide, uh, which was, I have no idea. Um, okay, let's uh, see here where we landed. It was right after the last Please session. Get ready. Really. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Get ready. All right. So um, you'll be able to get this PowerPoint. Of course, it's on um, Canvas and you'll see the dates. Notice uh, our professional development is from October 16 until uh, November 13. Uh, Christine, would you like to talk about this and the fact that you shared it on Canvas so others can also be involved in editing? Christine? Megaphone, Christine. She has to unmute herself. You. Is she not able to? Unmute. Oh, no, okay. I, yeah, um, I unmuted myself. So um, we decided to put up some uh, outcomes that we expect from the moderators. And this is especially for the 28 new moderators that we have in uh, the development session. Okay, so you can read here uh, what they are. Attendance at the four weekly live meetings. So each week starts on Sunday with a live meeting um, for each of the sessions that we have, the proposals for the sessions that we have. Uh, so please attend those um, if you cannot listen to the recording and post a reaction in the discussion forum. There are several discussion forums where that can happen in each week. Uh, then it's important that you complete all of the tasks by the due date. And if there are any issues, you communicate with the EVO coordination team. Um, so it's important that uh, you keep us appraised of what's going on if there are any issues. Um, in terms of participation, we expect you to respond to all weekly prompts. So uh, each of the discussion sessions has a prompt or sometimes two prompts, and we expect you to respond to those and then also interact with other participants. So when you respond, we expect a substantive uh, response that has to do with your teaching environment and with uh, learning and teaching um, as it relates to, to the question in the prompt. Then when you complete uh, this work, you will be awarded a badge each week um, and at the end, a certificate of participation. Um, in addition, we've got, um, we should mention that you need to be working on your proposal. Uh, and of course, that is also built into the weekly uh, uh, task that you have to do. So get started with your team members on a Google Doc uh, or maybe directly on a Canvas module um, and start putting in your ideas because your proposal needs to be ready by November 15th for final acceptance. And the final acceptance determines whether your proposal will actually be included in the call for participation for EVO sessions um, in January, 2023. Thank you, Christine. Uh, questions you'll be able to ask um, on Canvas. There's a support form for uh, questions and comments and so on. Uh, this is, um, expectations by the end of the mod pd you can take a look at it we're not going to go through it now and now for questions and are there any questions that are urgent right now uh, by the way i just want to mention that this meeting is rather long it, it was it's scheduled for an hour and a half 90 minutes but our regular <laughs> sunday meetings will only be 60 minutes between 40 and 60 they won't be as long so don't feel that you have to devote more than 60 minutes to the meetings and we encourage you to come because there's nothing like a live meeting to uh, to really get things uh, going for you and for us. Q&A, any questions 
that you'd like to ask, just unmute yourselves. If you can't think of anything right now. Um, hello, this is Kalyani. Yes, hi. So I just wanted to find out how, how to prepare this EVO proposal. Will this emerge out of these tasks that we do weekly or this is going to be something different that we plan for the sessions? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can answer that now if if, um, sure, if that's all right. If you could go back to the proposal, um, the slide, yeah, this slide. No, this one. Um, so Kalyani, you remember the proposal that you put together and some of the proposals were okay, but you got feedback from the EVO coordinators who reviewed the proposals and uh, told you what you might wanna tweak and adjust. And so here are the basic pieces of the proposal that you had to complete. Um, they're the title, the abstract, target audience, week by week outline. That is where a lot of items uh, were incomplete or you know needed to be tweaked a bit more or um, elaborated. Then communications media you needed to mention. The moderator profiles were in some cases incomplete and the terms of agreement uh, are outlined here. Most of you agree to those and only the lead moderators um, have permission to make changes to the proposal. So it is the same proposal template that you worked on before, but instead of the title where it says EVO proposal template, you might wanna put the new logo for your session there and that you will be learning uh, in the uh, moderator PD, um, I think in week two actually. Does um, that answer your question? Well, first of all, some of the but moderators- I'm so Sorry, our, new, I... our new moderators to recurring sessions and therefore uh, what you can do is you can look at the uh, at the proposal as it is as the lead moderator has set it up and see if you'd like to add anything because basically it's been it's there already and you're you're going to mod co moderate moderate a uh, Kalyani a uh, a session, a recurring session. So all the information is already there, but you're welcome to um, add your input. You'll be learning how to do this so that if next year you'd like to uh, propose your own uh, EVO session, you'll be able, you'll be qualified. You'll be able to do that in a better way. So think of it as for the future, if not for this year. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? All right, so we've got week one. We're still kind of behind today. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we're going to go through week one today. Uh, next week, we'll go through week two before we start week two. But since we're going to start week one uh, today, right? Um, the uh, moderators or the leads of uh, week one you're welcome to tell us about it what i might like to add here uh nelly is that uh one more time the week starts on sunday and ends on saturday at midnight so all tasks need to be in by saturday midnight and there are uh in each week prerequisite tasks so um week one has all of the registration week prerequisite tasks in it. So please make sure that you run through the tasks and complete them all um, in order to get a badge. Um, yeah, Those who are yes. here have completed one task and that is by joining the Zoom mm -hmm. meeting. All right, so let's see what's coming ahead in week one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so this is what the week one canvas module looks like. And I've circled in red at the, uh, at the top, the dates of the week. So again, it starts on Sunday, ends on Saturday at midnight. Um, there, are, there is a due date um, at the top and all of the prerequisites are mentioned there. So you need to go through those prerequisites each week. Uh, in week one, 
which I co-moderate. There will not be a live session because we're already doing it today, but there will just be a slideshow, okay? So what you will see in uh, the module is some items that are, that say view, and I have those in blue. Um, that means you just look at the tasks and see what needs to be done. There are links that you need to click on, but then there are also uh, items where you need to contribute, and those are discussion forums. And then there are tasks that you have to complete, and it says mark as done. And when you are done, you move on to the next task. You click next and go to the next task and uh, also to the next week. Okay, so here is a, a slide that I added uh, because I think it will help with the discussions. Um, I always use pinned discussions because it helps me get an overview of uh, what is going on in the discussion. So I pinned all the discussions for week one in my own canvas. So I get a very quick overview. If you look on the right-hand side there, uh, the number of posts in the forum, in the discussion forum that I have already seen. And this is from last night. So I have uh, read all of them. There are zero new ones. And then to the right of that is the number of posts, the total number of posts in the forum. So this helps me see where I need to go in and add something, moderate something. And in order to pin a discussion, uh, you need to uh, go into the discussion. Uh, and on the right-hand side, uh, there are the three dots and you click pin and it puts them at the top. I think it's also valuable to, uh, sorry, to subscribe to a discussion so that we're not that many, so you're not going to get overwhelmed by emails, but right. to get notified when someone replies to you so that you can reply back and they don't feel that, you know, for some reason you're, they're being ignored. So it's a way to support one another. Thank you, Christy. And these are the weekly badges. So I'm sure you want to get them. Um, will know that you've completed everything uh, when you um, get the four badges and then you'll qualify for the final certificate for taking this moderator PD. Any questions? If you have any, use the support forms and pin them as Christine suggested so that uh, you keep track. And thank you. Thank you for joining us and let the fun begin because as Vance always said, learning should be fun. So let's learn together and make it fun for everyone. Mm -hmm. If teachers are happy, students are happy, right? So um, let's enjoy ourselves. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to all the coordinators who are here, the moderators. And see you all in Canvas. Shall we take a photo? Is that sure. something that we can do? Yeah. All right, so let me stop screen sharing and we can see, open up your, take away your phone if you're busy with that. And I fully understand that. And uh, let's see if we've got everyone here. Galleries open. Wow, Great look at the everyone. lovely colors. <laughs> yes. Amazing colors. Anyone else? Yes, they're coming, they're coming. I know it's late for many of you, but I think we did a, a pretty good job of uh, going a little bit over time here. All right, so who's taking the photo? Who's our photographer today? Doris? <laughs> That's how I get volunteers. <laughs> Always. Always. <laughs> All right. Everyone can take their own photos, of course. You're welcome. So. Cheese, thank you for the heart there. That's a good idea to add hearts. Hearts. That would be a nice, easy O oh, startup. You know how to get the hearts? They're there under reactions at the bottom of the zoo. Oh, beautiful. This is so beautiful. All right. So thank you.
Shall we stay like this for the next hour? Yes. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Good night to those that are going Bye. to sleep. Good afternoon. Bye. Those that are Thank gonna you. have lunch. You enjoy your so lunch, your breakfast. Bye. Happy Mother's Day. Happy in Mother's Argentina. Day in, our, in South America. Yes. Thank you. Or just yes. Argentina. Well, in Argentina, yes. at least is my, I am from Venezuela, so I get the chance to celebrate twice. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye everyone.